Sometimes images can have a more complicated background to remove and the magic wand tool or eraser tool just doesn't quite work well or efficiently enough. That's where the lasso tool can really help you remove that background. Hi there, I'm Jamie Keat and welcome to Teachers Tech. So today I'm going to take a look at uh, how to remove a more complicated background using Pixlr, a free graphic tools uh, app available at pixlr.com. Uh, so you can see I'm already there. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit and open it up. It's all ready to launch, uh, launch web app and I'm gonna open up an image I already have ready. So from my computer, and this image uh, right here has more of a complicated background. It's not gonna be one from a green screen or a simple robot one that I've shown in uh, previous examples of the magic wand, because the magic wand, wand on this one won't work. The background is different, many colors. So what I wanna show you, um, I'm just gonna maximize and I'm gonna zoom up a little bit on the head because I'm just gonna be uh, working on cutting out uh, the head here. So with the lasso tool right over here, uh, it has two different options. So I can um, I can use the freehand one, which I don't use a lot. Uh, to me, it would work better if I was on maybe a tablet and had a, a pen that I could work with to trace. But how it works is if I was tracing around, and what I'm going to do is a really quick uh, one. So I just I, when I let go, it finishes. So if I wanted to do a little bit better, maybe I go around his head. I'm gonna do this quick uh, just for the example purposes of it. So I go around the head and I have to connect it back and I let go. But what I can do is if I missed a part, if I hold down shift, you notice how it goes to a plus sign, it allows me to add onto it. So if I make another circle right here and complete my circle, notice it fixed it there. So maybe I need the ear in it now. And I could go around and just make these circles like that and it added to it. So you can work away, uh, if it was a little bit on the inside, it you can just keep adding more and more and get it more exact until you have that cutout. Uh, remember, uh, I've talked about uh, using the layer tool before. If you want a transparent background, uh, you could just double click on this. But right now I have the head selected. I don't want to hit delete because his head would disappear. What I want to do is actually have the opposite. Uh, and to get the opposite, what I can do is invert the selection so if I invert the selection and now hit delete, everything else goes. But that was a terrible cutout. I'm gonna show you how to do it a little bit better in a different way here. I'm just gonna go undo. Actually, I'm just gonna do the, go back in history of this. So remember you have your history tool that you can, or history layer that you can go back to the very beginning. So now with the other one, the polygonal right here, you notice you can adjust the feathering depending on how exact you want it. You, again, you can play around with this, but I'm gonna leave it there. Uh, I can click one click at a time and make things very exact. So this can take a lot longer, but you can make it more exact. So I can let go of my mouse and as I work on my angles around the head, the smaller the click, the better it would be, uh, the better it would be for the image. So you can see, I'm just gonna, I'm doing these fairly long. If I wanted to do it better, I would just do shorter distances apart and then I would get rid of all the different angles on it. So you do have to work your way all around and at the very end, you try to get right back. And this is where it can be tricky. Sometimes I double, you double click it and then it goes away because I ended up doing a triple click. So if I double click, and there I go. But you'll find it and it can get, uh, you'll do a double click or it turns into triple click and then you mess it up and you do have to do it again and again. You can kind of see how I made a mistake. Uh, it's on the inside there. So maybe I want to switch to my free hand at this point, hold down the shift. And what I'm going to do is say, oh, I want to add that little bit of the, you know, add a little bit to this so I can make a circle and I could zoom up, do better and notice how it added to it. So I can actually switch back and forth from each tools. So at this point, I'm going to do that one more time to get a little bit better uh, job. I'll just do one more circle and there's a little better. So now I could have an option. Maybe if I, I could, if you wanted to cut out, you could go edit and copy this head out and put it on a different person. Or uh, what I could do, as I showed you before, if you wanted to have ice, had to have it all isolated, I could inverse, uh, invert the selection, hit my delete now, and now the head's all by itself. If that's all I wanted, I could hit crop, draw my crop tool around the head, 
hit enter, and I'm left with this picture. Again, I could have I could have did a, a better job. I just sped it up for the purpose of this with the clicks in between. So again, complicated background. Use the lasso tool. Uh, try the freehand or the polygonal, uh, and you'll probably, uh, depending on your situation, which one you might like best. So take a look at if you're uh, wondering how to put this onto a different background. I have other videos how to superimpose it, or if you're using green screen, take a look at that in the cards. Remember, I do these weekly tech tips. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this week, and I'll see you next time.